Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching TubeMint. This is basically a beginner's challenge uh, for coding if you are preparing for any interview or just preparing for coding or you do coding. This is a series of beginner's tutorial for top let's say 50 questions that are going to be targeted for beginner level programmers irrespective of your qualification i will be using javascript as a programming language because that is mostly used and it works like everywhere in the browser you can run in the console using node.js so it is a very beginner friendly and very relevant programming language so we'll start with very basic which says print numbers from 1 to 10 or 10 to 1 okay so we are going to use a for loop you can use a while whatever whatever and then for loop is sort of what we should do so this is what we have okay so how, how it works in this um, what you call a javascript environment for a loop you need to have a starter point or an ending point uh, for this we're going to use one a zero okay that's where it's going to start and then i is less than let's say 10 because we have to use a number we can use an array 10 is less than and what it's going to do in the same loop is going to increase one each time as long as it is less than 10 okay and then we are going to use our inbuilt function however javascript console log i so we're going to print every time i are using for loop with this inbuilt function and then we can run this file so this file is on my desktop cd desktop in a folder called uh, what do you call it js box i'm going to clear the screen and i'm going to use node js and this is challenge so you can see it did run nine times basically ten times to say and uh, it also printed zero okay which is uh, you don't want right you want to print from 1 to 10 so what you will do you'll make it 1 instead of 0 so this will start let's see what happens you want to understand the code how it's working so you can see this time it excluded the number 10 because we are we were we are just saying as long as it is less not equal so you can just put equal save it and then you can run it you can see this time it begins from one and goes up to ten and that is what you need okay in the reverse case let's say you want to go ahead and say you want to increase the number from ten to one and print it so you want to say i is equal to 10 so you just want to reverse it uh, here you want to say greater than greater than or equal to 1 instead of 10 and here you want to just decrease every time instead of putting it like in plus so this minus minus is going to decrease one plus plus is going to add one every time you can also say minus one or plus one but it is the same thing so i'm going to run the same you can see this is what it did so it gone it had it went ahead and start typing from 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 Okay guys, so that is it for this video. You can uh, pause the video and try yourself different things with the same for loop. You can also search for a uh, for loop JavaScript for loop challenge, coding challenge questions. And you might get many 
variations of the same questions and just you should try make sure you are comfortable with this for loop and how this works all right thank you for watching bye for now